Okay. Good evening to you all. Can you all see my screen, please? Sure, we can yes, see. sir. Good, Good evening. evening to you all. Today is our day 27 of this uh, three month data analytics bootcamp. Like I told you, this bootcamp will last for about three months, and today is day 27. Like always, we always start by showing our outlines what we are to cover, and um, we move forward from there. So this is what we are going to discuss about today. I'm sorry, yesterday, I think I put a recap on the 26th instead of the 25th. And I think that's why Energy said that the video is supposed to be the 27th, not the 26th. That's the mistake I made yesterday. So yesterday is day 26, of course. So today we are going to have a recap on what we did yesterday. And um, then we continue with brand, brand between. These are all what we are going to discuss for today. So if you can recall yesterday, um we talk about um uh, uh 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 we talk about substitute and replace that what we discussed yesterday substitute and replace we discussed them yesterday i show you how you can use them when to use each and every one of them even though so most of the time are using the same they you can use them uh interchangeably if you want but i think uh you can choose to use um you know, substitute, sometimes it, it is more complex, but if you think I'm um, using the replace will do the work for you, just go ahead and do it because you are the alpha and the omega. All you need is to have the skill. The way you apply the skill that's left for you because all we need is to arrive at the same destination. That's what we need. So um, that's exactly why, if you can uh, recall, that is exactly why I told you that I told you that uh, uh, in the next upcoming weeks that we, when we are moving so deep, I'm not going to ask you any question because to ask you a question is like I'm restricting you to think uh, kind of uh, out of the box and to think deeply in order for you to solve your own, uh, to solve a thing or to solve a data in your own way. So uh, I'm not going to ask you questions so that I will not narrow your thinking. I will just let you... Uh, you know, think by yourself, uh, solve the data by yourself, do whatever you want to do by yourself. All I need is to see the result. One, in as much as you can give me the result, it's okay. Because the data I will be giving you in the next coming weeks, it will be around data that has more than 300 rows, 200,000. I mean, not 300 rows, 300,000 rows, 300,000 rows, 200,000 rows, 500,000 rows, or 1 million rows. So, it's something that if you don't know how to even do it, if you think you are going to select and select by yourself, go through it, just go ahead, you can do it. So um, that's it. So learn how to use the substitutes and replace, please. Learn how to use the soup. Um, so I think um today, so today we are going to talk about RAND. Uh, I will explain the RAND uh, for you before we uh, uh, started the example. RAND is a um, way of generating random figure in Excel. To generate a random figure in Excel, that's what RAND is all about. It's like what this, um, I can say low tree people, yeah, they used to maybe just generate any figure that you want, you know, when you click on it, it will just generate something for you. Even though the RAND will always generate something in decimal number for you, that's what the RAND will do. And also for the rand between, rand between, we can use rand between in order for us to uh, kind of, um, uh, you know, uh, generate number, but we give a certain range that we need the number to be. For example, I want to generate uh, 10,000 numbers between, between 60 to 1 million. I want to generate random figures like 10,000 or 504. Or maybe out of 20 people, I want to generate two people. I want to generate number that will select two people for me. So from 1 to 10, I will just uh, generate, uh, create a, a random number to get, to select any one out of the uh, 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 series of the numbers that I have. So that what this rand between will do for you. So the difference between rand between and rand in RAND, you are not given any criteria, but in RAND between, we are given a criteria that is the range that we want the uh, RAND to be. And um, the use of this, even though there are a lot of ways to use this, uh, but uh, we'll work with uh, 
uh, one of it today, but the other has to do with other functions that we are going to treat maybe in the upcoming weeks. We'll treat it and you'll learn how to do that. Sometimes if you want to randomly select some people from the range of data, you can use run between to just randomly select some people out of the data. You are not the one that treat them so that you will not be biased. So uh, you you add, you just randomly use the rand between formula to select people from that. But now uh, what we are going to use rand between with is for us to generate our own data. That is sometimes if you want to use data, you can create your own data by yourself. And that data will be so accurate, right? Like real data. All you need is to use the formula and just create your own data and start working with the data using this rand between. So let's see how we can use this to functions today, rand and rand between. So this is our file. So I think I'm just going to create new. Yeah, so let me just use this one. Okay, let me just use this. I'll just turn this to general. And then I'll delete this. Whatever is in here, I'll delete it. So let's say, for example, here is 20 to it's one, here is 20 to it's two. So for the rand, for the rand, I told you just to use the rand, all you need is to put rand, so when you put rand, you open bracket, you don't need to put anything, just close the bracket and press enter. So it will just select, it will just create something like this for you. Just, you, you put rand, open and close and press enter. So whenever you select something and you press enter, it will do this for you. If you uh, refresh, you know, you, you click anything, you press enter, whatever you did, it will still do this for you, you see? It will, if when you click something, you did anything in your Excel, it will just keep changing, 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 and giving you a random uh, number like this. So this is what RAND will do for you. But for the RAND between, which is the most uh, useful one, for the RAND between, it will generate a number for you. Let's say, for example, this is 2021 revenue. Let me just call it revenue. And this is 2022 revenue. Let's say I want to create a, a, a amount of money between, let's say, 50,000 to 300,000. That's what I want to create. So I just go, I'm just going to write rand between, I will say, let's say, between 60,000. That is the bottom up to, let's say, 300,000. Then I will close my bracket. Then I will press enter. Then automatically it generates 84,453 for me. So if I drag it, it will generate money for me automatically. As you can see, it generates uh, some figures. All this money, it generates the money for me automatically based on that. If I double click here and I press enter, it will generate again. Whatever I did, it will keep generating. It will keep generating. It will keep generating. Let's say, for example, it can be maybe you are students uh, that you want to just create data for students. You want to just give them marks. Just anyhow, it's just English marks. You want to give them, maybe you didn't uh, conduct CA, but you want to award random marks to them, maybe between 1 to 30. So all you need, you can say equals to run between. Then you can say 1 to, okay, let's say 5. You don't want anyone to anybody to score less than 5, but you don't want anybody to score more than 5, so or more than 30. So it will be between 1 to 30. So it will just award marks randomly to all your students. This one goes 20, see, this one 19, this one this, this one this. And you can also use the data to do whatever you, you want to do with the data. So you can apply this on this general revenue. You will apply it here and you can use the data to uh, do your work, to just create sample data and to do whatever you want to uh, do. So this is what I use. If I want to generate data for uh, to give you assignment, this is what I did just to generate random data and we just create data anywhere, anyhow I want it to be. I'll just create random data. I'll just give it to you and go ahead and work with it. So this is you too. You can use that to create your own data, to work with the data and do whatever you can with the data. So this is something that don't worry. Uh, whenever you want to use data, I've already told you. And sometimes a lot of people are using this uh, to, uh, to, I know I don't want to say this because it's very unethical. So it's something that I, I will not even uh, to, uh, so talk about this. So uh, please take note on this. So whenever you want to create a data and use data, just go ahead, use run between, create your own data, work with the data, master everything and continue doing your work. So this is what we're going to do. And uh, believe me, uh, uh, we'll come back to this run between because we have a function that when we treat that function, we'll uh, concat it with uh, run between and we'll see how, for example, out of our uh, 
the people maybe we have 100 people and we want to select 10 people out of 100 so we'll see how we can choose 10 out of that 100 people and to select the exact 10 people with their names for us so we'll do that but uh gradually when we did that uh, i will not forget we'll treat this run between uh during that uh class again so if you have any question you can Tax because this is exactly where we are going to stop. Because let me tell you one thing. Um, this line between uh, that you are seeing, that you are seeing, this 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 line between that you are seeing, uh sometimes, sometimes, like I told you, you want to select people, like I said, you want to select random people, or you want to create random figures uh out of the data, or sometimes, for example, let me say something. I have group A, let's say I have group A. Uh, group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six. For example, I have, let's say, 10 groups and I want to assign a tax to one of the group and I don't want to be biased just to select by myself. Okay, I want to give it to group two. I don't want to do that. I have five groups. So what I want to do is that I, I can say, for example, it costs to run between, is for me just to do that. I have five groups and I want to select out of the five group, which group? Will I give the data to? So I say one to five because I have five groups. I have one to five. So I want to select random. Whatever I got out of this, that's the group that I'm giving it to. If I press enter, it will give me five. So definitely I'm giving it to group number five. We use this uh, most of the time when uh, uh, we are doing uh, uh, what we call, uh, 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 I call it, sorry, SQL. Uh, there is uh, something that we call uh, no, no, not SQL. Sorry, I forgot the name of this. Sorry, uh, because we use this formula uh, in to work with it uh, most of the time. And um, okay, sometimes, sometimes. Okay, wait. Let me just do when you are sampling in data. When you are sampling a data, when you are sampling, you are sampling. For example, it's a survey that you are conducting, but you are doing a sampling, random sampling. Maybe is. 200,000 in a, in a village, but you are only to, you are to sample only 15 out of 200. So you have one to 200 households. So you need to choose 15 out of them. So you are going to use this rank between the for you to choose 15 out of 200. So let me just show it to you. For example, I have one to 15, for example, let's say one to 15. Let's say, okay, let's say I have 200. And I have one to 15 households. So I'm going to say, for example, it goes to run between, run between one to 200. So if I click here, it's going to give me a random. So all I'm going to do is, let's say I have one to 15. So one, let me do this for you so that you will see how we do it sometimes to sample households so that these are the households we are going to do. Okay, so let me make it 15. So out of 15, I will just drag this up till 15. So any number of households that falls within this, we are going to do, we are going to that particular house. Unless the number just repeat itself. If it repeats itself, then we are going to drag it again, like, like this, then we are going to drag it again. So you see, we don't have any uh, other duplicate again. So we are going to use this household, any number that falls within 147, 56, 129, 55, one and all. So this is what we did to do the sampling or to do the survey uh, uh, when we have this, or when we were asked to, uh, create a, a random sampling based on this. So this will just be given to the surveyors and the surveyors will look based on the number of the household that, okay, we are going to 147, 56, 129, this, 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 all this. So for that to continue. Yeah, of course, it can be used to post staffs. Of course, it can be used to post staff in different locations, even to assign tax. To different staffs. Don't worry, I will give you assignment. I just want you to learn all this. Uh, maybe your assignment can come to assign tax to some people or something like that. So it's okay. Hidaya, Hidaya, I, I will I will respond to questions that has to do with what we treated. Like I said yesterday, I saw your question. Like I said yesterday, uh, if I said I will be responding to your question, sometimes we will be out of what we are discussing. We will be talking about things that, of course, you will learn it. When you learn it, you will tell yourself that, yeah, we learned this particular thing and from today I know it. 
So there are a lot you you are still you are still learning. Don't don't forget we have twelve weeks. This is number week number what? I think it's week four. So please don't run well, and pass the, the, your legs. We are coming there. We are coming to that. We are coming to that exactly. We are coming to that. If you have a column like price, currency, or weight, and it's large data, what is the way that you can? Uh, is the way to confirm that all the data in the column have the column signed with them, e.g. kg or currency. I think, I think, let me respond to this based on what we have treated. Let me respond to this. You see, sometimes, you see, sometimes you need to think very deeply. Please, you need to think very deeply in order for you to learn all this. You need to think very, very deeply. Let me show you something. Let me open our data. Let me come to our data. Let me come to our data. For example, this is our data. I'm going to get rid of this A. Let me just get rid of this A here. Let me get rid of this A. Let me copy it first. So I'm just going to do this. Um, okay, let me just uh, replace the A like I did yesterday. So let me just do the 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 control. Uh, okay, sorry. Control this. I'll paste this and just replace it like this. So let me just do that. So in this case, in this case, we have almost 18,900 records. So now, if I want to know how many columns out of this 18,000 that I have has M and how many columns has K, how can I do it? You need to act smart based on what you did. You need to act very smart. Okay, sorry. Just touch something, sorry. So you need to act very smart. Sorry, let me, let me, let me. Let me just stop something. I just started the recording in my OBS. Okay, sorry. So you need to ask me, since you didn't cover everything in Excel for you to be able to do everything or every work that, that you need to do it. There are ways to do it. Uh, if you just click on it, you can use it, but you need to ask me. So let me show you something <coughs> we did. So already we did right. So I'm going to do the right. I'm going to remove, to remove only one character from the right. Because that's where that happens. So I'm going to see this M. So I will double click it because it's going to apply everything. And I will apply my word. I will apply my count if. So that I will count. I will count this is the range. Then what is the criteria? I'm counting M out of the range. So it will tell me how many M I have. So if you count everything here, for example, now I use the count. Okay, let me say count all. If I count all here, count all. If I count all here, it will give me how many data I have here. For example, it's 18,000. So if I minus this, 18,000 minus this, it's going to give me this. So definitely the, the, the number of data with M, I, would, I know is 9,300. So definitely the number of data without M is 9,673. If I want to count number of data with uh, also that has K, so I'll just do it, count if. Then I will count the range. Okay, so first of all, I need to, sorry, I need to uh, use the, the right again to remove K. So, okay, sorry, I'll, I'll use the same range. It's okay, I'm doing it red. So I'll use the same range. It goes to counts if, open bracket, then I will select the range, comma, I'm counting K now. Then I'll close it, then it will count the K. So you see, now it, it, it's count that, Okay, it's, it's wrong. It's supposed to count the key for us here yeah, within this range. I don't know why. Count this. So it's supposed to count key. It's supposed to count key for us. I don't know why. Yeah, this is the key. I don't know. Is key has something else? Okay, sorry. This is M. Okay. Let me just do it here. Count if I don't know it's supposed to count this. I'm counting k. Yeah, it's count the k. So here it is. We have the k. So I'm minusing k equals to I'm minusing this minus the k. Then it will give me this. So the, the, the number of within the range, what we have some data is that 248 of the data which doesn't have m and k in them. 
So this is something that you should take note on that. You should take note on this. All the, if you want to know that, or you want to have insight, you want to get insight on the data, or you want to learn uh, a lot about your uh, data. So you need to act smart based on what you learn. Act smart based on that. Because uh, by working with all these uh, small, small things that you are seeing, you will be learning a lot. Because uh, yes, there is a way that you can just apply to know this, 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 and that. But we didn't treat it, and I don't want us to be going there, answering this question to take us there, answering this question to take us there. When we treat it, I believe you will know how to uh, do that. Don't worry. I know. So you need to please think deeply based on what you have learned. It will help you a lot, a lot, when you use the knowledge that you have as it is now. Because you have a lot to do, and you have a lot to learn. So take it very, very, very easy. So if you have a question, you can ask either in the chat or you can raise your hand and I will respond to you. Okay, I'm listening to you. If you have any question, you can ask in the chats or you can raise your hand. If you have a question, any question you can ask. Okay, iPhone. Yeah, today there is no any question because I th I believe everybody uh, kind of, uh, I think it's very easy today, right? Yeah, so don't worry, watch out for your assignment. Assignment is coming iPhone, you can, you can, I, 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 I think I asked you to kind of talk. I don't know. Check, the, you asked him for yesterday's video. It's in the group, please. Check the group. I dropped the link. I think around, is it 2 a.m. or 1 a.m.? I don't know. I can't recall, but I dropped the link since yesterday. Can we use that between a conditional formula? I can't answer this question. Yes or no? If you can do it, try it now. Just try it. Um, I'm, I'm a try it. If it works, then it works. If it didn't work, then it will not work. <laughs> but try it. But I think you can use any formula inside if condition. I, I think. In as much as you want to loop something or you want to create a condition on something. I don't know. But try it and see. If it works, then you can use it. If it didn't work, then... Maybe I, I think you cannot use it. Watch out for your assignment. I'll try my best to give you the assignment. Yeah, it's only number that run between generating. I told you we work with text. It can generate text. It can generate number uh names of people for you. I told you maybe I have names of you people here now, all of you, uh 107 of you, for example, I have your names. So I can use right between to select the names of 10 of you, for example. I can use right between, but we need to apply right between with other formula. So we didn't treat that other formula. That way we'll wait until when we treat that other formula, then we'll use it with right between in order for us to use that. So we can use right between to do to do other things, <coughs> not only generating uh, number. Yeah, when the time comes, we'll uh, learn that. When the time comes, we will learn that. The people table, they have to look up and we look up ETC. We will learn that when the time comes. We will learn that. Told you I have my own uh, uh, schedules and I plans that what I am going to do. I think you, you, you want us to move very fast. I know the people I'm dealing with and I know the type of, uh, the way we're supposed to uh, learn this. You see this time that we took, uh, maybe this three months that we are going to take is something that will, uh, you know, make your mind even uh, uh, kind of uh, 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 get used to what you are doing. I'm not going just to go ahead. If I can teach it, maybe I can go ahead and teach you everything today. We close it yesterday, next tomorrow, and we call it a day. That what a lot of you I know some will lead, will will love that. So we are going step by step. I know the type of people I'm dealing with, and I know how. Uh, this supposed to be. It's like mathematics. You think you know it today, tomorrow you can forget what you learned. 
Yeah, we will reach wherever we are reaching. Me, I have that patience. I can I can keep doing this for the for whole year. I have that patience. So it, it's like three months you think is is kind of some things that is kind of far for you to to become what you want to become. You think <laughs> don't worry. But we are moving slowly. Yeah. We are moving and we will keep moving yeah. like that. So I think no questions for today. Maybe till tomorrow I will work out on the assignment. I will, I will create questions and I will drop the assignment maybe today or tomorrow morning. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you watch the video. I answered that question. What do we need to apply RAND? And uh, uh, I think right I told you it just generates number for you. If you want to select only one piece, that run it, it generates only um uh, kind of decimal uh, numbers for you. It also do that. Even that run you can drag it down. You can drag run uh, down. When you drag it, it will generate different different decimal numbers for you. Different of them. So you can use them maybe to assign it to some people the way you want it to be. So uh, you just use them to uh kind of generate number, but it only generates uh, the small numbers thing. Only generate that thing. Okay. So energy, I didn't hear from you today. No, but you didn't say a word. Yes, sir. Are you with <laughs> us or against us? I was waiting for you, actually. You are against us today? No, I'm with you. I'm with you. All I do see your score. No, 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 I'm not kidding. against you. I will check it. I will Have you check seen it. your code? We I will check it. Do I... You said? Did you post it today? The update you sent yesterday, I didn't see it. You said what? Hello, sir? Yeah, yeah. The update you sent yesterday it wasn't included. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it, it's not included. Now. I will send again. the update. I will send update. May, but maybe you should wait until we mark with four. Then we will send okay, the update sir. together with it. You will see it. Yeah, someone say any trick to go to the bottom of the data when when dragging. Like I told you, it's just to double click. You don't need to drag. When no. you go where your cursor turned to that black arrow when about to drag, just double click on it. It will just drag everything for you. You don't need to do that. And if you want to go to the bottom, you just hold control and press down. It will just go to the bottom of the data. That's the uh, 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 trick. If you want the trick. I plead that after these three months would come. Yusuf, you can talk. After these Someone three months would come, uh, you can fix another bootcamp post on how to use Power BI, Tableau, SQL. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, 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 the type of people, all the number of people we I want to keep training, 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 because even now there are tons of people that want to uh, join this bootcamp, but I ask them to wait till another bootcamp. So we have a lot of people that are attending who are ready to join the next bootcamp. So I don't, I think, I think, I think we'll see what we can do. Maybe out of those we train this, we use this bootcamp with, or out of the, the participant of this bootcamp, I will assign some to take care of the next coming bootcamp. Then we can move to other tools. All these tools that you mentioned, Power BI, Tableau, SQL, you can learn them in less than one month. You can learn them in less than one month. One month, two months. is all. You can't take two months to learn them. But if you understand this, this that we are doing now as a beginner, the other one within one more you can lend them Welcome. all and you can start working with them so don't worry about Welcome. that it's not something big and it's not something uh, kind of focus on this that you are learning and i know you are nigerian in to work in nigeria believe me you will not go out of excel most of the time Welcome. so i'm continuing uh, Mala, me i complain to you about my score my last score it was i complained you about my last score. You complain about your assignment, and right? I submitted. Yes, yes. And oh, I submitted. Yeah, it's okay. The... I told you I will, I will look into it. It will be marked. But okay. talk to I'll me. Even our... send the Don't worry. I think it's Sir? even updated. We'll... Talk to me, Yusuf. Bra... Send okay, message. Okay. Check that on. Okay, then. All right, sir. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> Look at this, Muhammad Ahmed. So you want me to go back to your class again after this? Then you uh, uh Muhammad, not, not anymore. Me too. I'm tired. I happy that now you are talking about two D cartoon making. 
I <laughs> there are certain things that I stop teaching them now. I focus on this journey to create more data analytics people, more data scientists in our community. All that 2D, 3D is something that now I'm not even kind of into that. All that. And there are many skills that I taught them before, data, video, uh, editing, all the uh, software development, all the other graphic design and the rest. Now I stopped teaching all uh, those things now. I stopped that. Yeah. Metal. Hello, sir. Hello, yeah, can you hear me? I think we can, uh, okay. I thought you all left, right? No, 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 we are still, yes, huh? sir. We are still, yes, sir. Yeah, if you learn Excel and work need Google Sheet, Google Sheet and Excel are almost uh, the same. If you understand how to use Excel, nobody can teach you Google Sheet. Nobody will teach you Google Sheet. Just learn Excel, Musa. Don't worry about that. You should, don't worry. When you understand what we are doing, just don't cascade your mind somewhere. Just focus on this. Master this. The other things that you are seeing, you will not suffer in them. Who talk about dashboard? I didn't see it. It's just somebody talking about dashboard with Tableau. And without Tableau, you can create dashboard with Excel. You can create dashboard with Google Sheet. You can create dashboard with Power BI. You can create dashboard with Excel. You can create dashboard with anything. Please, I... I uh, some of you that are uh, best in Googling and watching YouTube, please don't go and get yourself confused. Please take what you are learning very serious. Take what you are learning very serious. Okay. So I think I think we can call it a day because it's almost time. We can call it a day. Maybe it's we meet tomorrow. I will try as well as I can to just upload the video very, very soon so that you can watch what we did today and watch out for your assignment. It will come very soon. So I'll drop the assignment, then we see next tomorrow. So have a wonderful weekend. Good night. Good night, sir.